Dave, congratulations. That was some battle up there. You're through. Tough times in there, some rocky moments, but that battle, that mental strength you have got you through. Yeah, 100%. Um, Christoph, Daniel Nopper, the same, same type of characters in my opinion. Um, and I knew I had had a tough draw and you know me and Danny and have played each other so many times this year and Egg when I was speaking to her I was like listen this is going to go all the way you know <laughs> when they're asking about bets and stuff I was like it's going to go all the way I know it is and uh, it was a fantastic game to play in it was tough at times you know I didn't feel I was I was playing as well as, as I should be playing but he let me off a bit like Christoph did but I've got to go up there and I've got to capitalise on them them missed opportunities from the opponent and they did every single time and uh yeah, it was a tough battle, but uh, buzzing to get through to make my third consecutive quarter final. But first session, did something annoy you, wind you up? Because you looked really uh, irritated. Uh, we saw you gesturing. Yeah, and listen, it, it, it was nothing. It, it was something or nothing. It was literally. I just felt the the marker was, was too slow, putting his scores down. And as I'm from from the right, I can see it on the corner eye. Listen, we sorted out with the break, and then after the second break, I told him to slow down because he was too fast. <laughs> 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 it was something or nothing. You are the darling of the Winter Gardens. They have really taken to you. And do you feel that if you are to go on and win it, they could be your 12th man? Oh, 100%. You know, I think it was my 12th man tonight. Um, they were fantastic. At times, I felt so... Even though I was playing well, I didn't feel I was playing well. You know, you look at the stats, and I was having 96, 97 pretty much all through the game. But in my head, I, I didn't feel like I was performing well. My daughter, my daughters and, and Kirsty out here tonight, because they have school, um, so it, it was tough, tough for me tonight. I had nothing to look at to try and G me up, and then I look out and there's three thousand people all chanting my name, and you know, I loved it. You know, you know what I'm like when I'm on that, that stage. I, I try and entertain, and yeah, they got me through that game again tonight. And you know, I don't, I don't like what they did at the end, but you know, I've had it myself where you know I've, I've got a shot to stay in the match or a shot to win, and the crowd get involved, part and parcel. When I play in Holland, I get it. In my backyard, it's going to happen, and uh, yeah, it was just a great game of darts, and one I'm very happy to get through and uh, roll on Thursday night. That Thursday night game, that's going to be a battle, whoever it is, oh. because it's either Smithy or, or, or Dobes, and I can see the smile <laughs> on your face. You know, this this is going to be a war mentally, whichever yeah. one it is, isn't it? Yeah, the, listen, the, the the three lads on the tour, four lads that knock around all all the time together, and it's me, Smith, Dobie, Joe Cullen, and, and, and Johnny Clayton. But, we travel all over the world together with the best of mates. Um, I'm, I'm sharing a house with Dolby, so that could be interesting if he wins tonight. Um, but listen, I, I love them all to bits, and they obviously, you know, we get on so well. It's going to be tough, but we're up there to, to pay the bills, and, uh, you know, we're all professional enough. We've all played each other enough times to know we're going up there doing the job. And, um, you know, I'm going to go upstairs, I'm going to get changed, I'm going to stay and watch the, their game. Um, only because I've not got a lift home because <laughs> it manages the same as Dobie's but uh, now nah, I'm going to sit and watch the game and I hope it's going to be a fantastic game and you know me the best man win Nathan, congratulations cheers thank you Nathan you were consistently averaging six seven points more than Danny and that but you just couldn't seem to quite get rid of him is that just the sort of player that, that Danny is yeah he's a battler he's a, he's a bit like myself and you know the amount well I don't think it was a lot but you know in a close game like that it, it was Whole throw, whole throw, whole throw, whole throw. I'd break him and I'd go, right, come on. And I kept pointing to my manager, this is it, this is the one. And then I'd kick off 45, he'd hit a 140. And the pressure's back on me. So, yeah, I didn't capitalise on opportunities where if I, I felt if I was playing my best, I would capitalise on, you know, I'd break him and then have a two, a two leg cushion because people think the pressure's on him because he's losing. Nah, it's not. If he breaks me, He's level, he's throwing to go up. The pressure's on me in that leg. And uh, I think I handled myself very well tonight and uh, I'm very happy to get the win. Do you think the levels so far are that of a, a major win? Do you think you can play the way you're playing and win, win this tournament? No, no, not at all. Um, I'm playing well, my finishing's good. I'm hitting 180s, but me, me consistency isn't there. Um, so I've got to work on that. You know, I, I had a, my family up yesterday and I went pe pe uh, Peter Rabbit World, what's the circus, went on Blackpool Tower. I'll be down here tomorrow having a practice because I'm happy with my game, I'm playing well, but the consistency level isn't there at the moment and I'm not going to win this tournament averaging 99, uh, 98. It's just not going to happen. Um, so I need to come down here tomorrow, be sharp, have a good practice session and all eyes on Thursday night. Cheers, thank you. Listen, how relieved for you to see Danny miss that dart at the top there to take it to a side break. 
very. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I was absolutely buzzing. Um, you know, he got a bit of, bit of stick from the crowd, no dispute in that, but like I've, like I've uh, referred to earlier, if I'm in Germany, if I'm in Holland, you know, I, I get the stick because I'm an English guy, so, you know, you've got to take the rules and smooth. He, he clapped him at the end, sarcastic clap. I've done that myself, you know what I mean? When I'm playing Van Gogh in, in Rotterdam, you know, there's only 3,000 there. Imagine 12,000 booing you, you know what I mean? And, um, yeah, it's tough, you know, it's not nice for him, but it, it was a good game of darts, but I think I deserve to win. If you're saying it didn't feel like a good performance, but you've averaged 98, that's going to be a good sign, right? Yeah, 100%. I think, I knew in times I was playing well, but it was just so patchy, you know, it'd be 180, 26, 45, 60, 140, take it out, 16 data. Good like a dart, it's 90 average, but <laughs> as a professional dart player, who, you know, the thing with dart players is we search for perfection. You know, we want 110 averages, and when you're, you know, you're having them 45s, them 60s, them treblers visits, which is why the sky put it on treblers visit, you know, you're hitting them, it's very frustrating. Um, but you know, I can't be too hard on myself. I'm in the quarterfinals for the third time in the year, uh, third time in three years. Um, Van Gogh in Holland, not in Blackpool, which is I'm very happy about. <laughs> so uh, we'll see what happens on Thursday. And finally, what's it been like sharing house with Chris Dobie? <laughs> 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 I can't comment. <laughs> he loves TV, that's all I'm saying. I'm not telling you what, but he loves telly. <laughs> I'm off. <laughs>